This is a complete guide to help you set up your own Ethereum node and stick with it. We are starting off with setting up a server for your Ethereum nodes, so for this we are going to use Ethereum Plus to quickly set up a server. The cool thing is, with Ethereum Plus your server doesn't need any extra network configuration, the hardware comes out of the box ready and is tailored to run Ethereum nodes, as it is used by RockLogic to run their Lido nodes with thousands of validator keys. If you should run in any problems, just join our Discord or open a ticket on our website, our teams can guide you from beginning to end. So now that the process is complete, you'll get an email on the email you registered with, with all the infos about your newly purchased server, including your IP address. Alright, so now that we have our server, we can proceed to the Ethereum node setup itself. For this, you can download the Ethereum launcher under the link below. It is open source and easy to set up. Next step is to go onto the Ethereum launching page, where you'll proceed to log in with the server's IP address you just purchased, username and password. Out of this three option, you'll choose one click installation option. And here choose your use case and network. For this guide, select the staking option. Here set the appropriate data path for your server by selecting the right storage volume. And lastly, when setting up your node, try to alternate between different execution and consensus clients to optimize performance and network resilience. Here, we're gonna set the synchronization method for your node clients. Finally, you'll confirm the installation paths for each component you're setting onto your server. After completing the initial setup, you'll be directed to the node page. We will later import the key in the staking page. Now let's move on to the Ethereum Launchpad website. This is the official portal for becoming an Ethereum validator. Of course, here we'll start by clicking on become a validator and next carefully read through the advisor information. Choose any of the execution clients listed here and similarly select any consensus client. Next, decide on the number of validators you wish to operate. Right down below, you'll be able to import your wallet address. Here, select the operating system you're using. To generate your keys, we recommend the Wagyu Keygen app. This you can download from GitHub. Just select the latest version and download. Return to the staking launchpad page and confirm that you've securely stored your validator keys. Once the Wagyu download is complete, launch the application and click create new secret recovery phrase. Here, copy your secret recovery phrase. And to confirm your secret recovery phrase, simply pass it here. Here, enter how many validator keys you'd like to create and set a strong password for them. On this page, click on Browse to open Windows Explorer and navigate to the folder where you want to save your validator key. And I will import the deposit data file that I generated earlier in the Wagyu Keygen app. Next, connect to your Ethereum wallet. Carefully read the summary page and check all the necessary boxes. Now ensure that your Ethereum wallet shows as connected on the launchpad site. Finally, click on Send Deposit to initiate the deposit over your Ethereum. Confirm and proceed. Finally, we have arrived to the last step of this guide, where we'll go to the Ethereum application again and if you're logged in already, navigate to the staking section. To import your validator key, click on click or drag to insert key or simply drag and drop your validator key file onto it. Here enter the password you created for your validator key. When asked if you want to import with a slashing protection database, choose no if you have not previously imported these keys into a different client. As soon as the import process is complete, navigate to the node tab and access the setting of your validator client. Find the default fee recipient section and click the pencil icon to edit the address to which block rewards will be sent. Confirm and apply the changes by clicking confirm and restart. Once your node is fully synchronized with the network and your validator key has been processed through the deposit queue, you will begin to perform attestation duties. This signals that you are actively participating in the network and can start earning rewards. 